Hi everybody! Welcome to another Upsa Daisy design tutorial. Today is part two on the intro to making jewelry design templates. As we mentioned on our last video, some of the icons are going to be in a different place if you're using an app or a phone to follow along. I am using a laptop. So the icons are on your phone or app, they just may be in a different place. So yesterday, we talked about using Slice to create one design. Today we're going to talk about using Slice and Weld to create another design. So let's go ahead and get started. This time I'm going to use some of the shapes that are in the Design Studio, Design Space, excuse me, for Cricut. So let me click on Images, and I'd like to use a teardrop shape for this design. So I've already searched and found a great teardrop shape. Let me go ahead and insert that image. You can also use uploaded images. I just wanted to use one that was already in Design Space. Now for me, I like to work on my designs facing the direction that the earring is going to hang. So my earrings aren't going to hang upside down, they're going to hang right side up. So I like to flip any images that are upside down. Easy way to do that is on the top toolbar, there's an icon that says Flip and this one I want to flip vertically. There we go. That's easier for me to work with. Let me zoom in on my screen a little bit, bottom left corner, and I can enlarge this so that you can see it better. This particular image came in at one inch tall. I'd like to make that taller, but I'd like to keep everything proportional. So I'm going to leave the lock on in the bottom left corner, and I'm going to go up to the height area and I'm going to change that. Actually, I'd like to make it 1.8 inches tall. 1.8 high, and Cricut Design Space will automatically calculate the width with the lock on it. Okay, so this is going to be my base shape that I want. Next thing I'm going to do is I want to cut out the center of it so that I can weld the image to the center. So to do that, I'm going to duplicate this shape. Now I've got two of them. I'm going to take the second one, leaving the lock on, and I'm going to shrink it down. You can decide how much you want to shrink it down. If you would like a wide gap between the edge of your earring and the center circle, then make this uh, teardrop a lot smaller. If you'd like it to be a little thinner, make this one a little bigger. What I'm going to do is lay one on top of the other until I get it lined up just the way I want it. So let me, I like to leave a little more room at the top than at the bottom because this is where my hole is going to be. So I like to make sure there's enough space there. All right, so those are looking just the way I want them. Since there's nothing else on the screen, I'm going to use the Select All, and it's going to highlight both items. We're going to slice this center out. So with those highlighted, go down to the bottom right corner where it says Slice, and we'll cut that out. You'll see over in the Layers panel that the slice did happen. I'm going to slide the top image off, and then I'm going to delete the shape that I cut out and the shape that was cut out. So now I have my earring. Remember, this is enlarged quite a bit, so that's why it looks gigantic on my screen, but it's only 1.8 inches high. Now this part is where we're going to use weld. Let's take our next image that we'd like to use. It doesn't matter if it's a cactus or a bunny or a heart or whatever shape you want. Go ahead and find your image. I'm going to go back and use the heart image. Let's find one that's going to work well for me. Let's see, I kind of like that one. So I'm going to insert that image. It's always going to come in a lot bigger than you need it. So again, leaving the lock on, I'm going to reduce the size until it fits into the circle that I just created. We want to make sure 
that you've got some points where it actually touches your original shape. So that actually looks pretty good to me. I'm going to go ahead and hit select all because there's nothing else on my screen. And then in the bottom right corner, I'm going to use the weld option this time. Now that becomes one image. Hmm, I like that. That's actually pretty good. So I would want to then save this. Here's the trick with weld. You can only undo weld if you haven't saved your design. As soon as you save it, the ability to undo it has gone away. So make sure that you are happy with the way it looks before you save. The downside to that is if something happens, you lose your internet connection, you haven't saved it, then you've lost all your work. So just something to consider. So now I've got this earring made, but I need two of them, one for the left ear for one for the right ear. Once I get my design just the way I want it, I'm going to highlight it again and press duplicate in the far right layer panel. And now I have two earrings, left and right. And remember yesterday we talked about if you have a shape that has a direction to it and you want them to hang one way or the other, maybe you've got a boot and you want one to go this way and one to go this way, then you would use the flip option at the top to rotate those. Let me run through how to do that real quick. It's just to remind you, so let me undo everything I just did. Take that heart out of there. And now let me go and find a boot. Let's, I'm just going to pick this one. Size it. Now, I picked one with a lot of design in, and what I'm going to do is turn off those design elements. Whoops, hit the button one too many times, so that I just have the outline. And I did that in the layers panel. All right, let me size this down. And I'm going to select all and weld. Now I have a boot. But if I want one boot going one direction and one boot going the other direction when I cut it out, then I'm going to duplicate and flip. And this time I'm going to flip horizontally. Now when I cut those out, I've got one boot facing each direction. Please feel free to let me know if you have any questions about how to use Slice and Weld to create a new earring design. Thank you. Bye-bye.